guys, so it's day two here in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, yesterday we went to Temple Bar area. It was a rainy day, but we went and got some brews. Well, we flew in pretty late last night, so we just hit up, got a Guinness, and now we're starting our day. Just a Guinness? Guinnesses, plenty of Guinnesses. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the start. But yeah, uh, we're, we're about to go start our day with the full Irish breakfast. I always want to call it an English breakfast. It's just almost the same thing, but we're going to get started with a full Irish breakfast. He was thinking about it all morning when he couldn't sleep. I couldn't I sleep. I was thinking about it. I was here a couple months ago and I wanted it. Let's go. So we got our English breakfast. No, it's I our Irish breakfast. Where we're at Louise Irish Cafe breakfast. here off of Parnell Street. I peppered it already. <laughs> breakfast was really good. Yeah. Kelly wasn't a big fan of the blood sausage. Uh, I had some of it. Um, I just couldn't stop thinking about it while I was chewing it. <laughs> she said she almost wanted to throw up. I didn't love it, but it, it, was, it was pretty good. It was okay. A little salty, but it was all right. I think you have to try everything in life. Like, I love escargot, but he tells me he doesn't want to try it. So I'm, I, I have to stick to my own we'll rules. See, you we'll have see. to try everything at least once. Like, and now we're on our way to the train station. We're going to do something a little bit different than most people do while they're in Dublin here. Last time I was here, we discovered Bray Beach, which is just a one hour train right here from Dublin City. It's really inexpensive. I forget if it was just like two euros, but we're on our way to the station now. We're gonna go to the beach. It's a nice sunny day out. So this is at Bray Beach. It's just a one hour train ride from the city. You got the beach and boardwalk and then this hiking trail here that we're about to do. You can climb all the way up to that mountain. We're gonna see if we can make it at least halfway there. Kelly doesn't think she can do the whole thing. Well, we have to get back into town at some point. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> Well, we didn't make it to the top. It's not because she gave up though. It's because it started raining kind of hard on us and I wasn't really prepared for rain. Forecast said rain only at night, but storm started coming in. So we decided to turn back around and it's getting kind of late. We're gonna head back to Dublin now. Well, we had an umbrella, but then we were thinking all oh, the time and we should eat lunch and then we have more things to do today before we call it a, a night. So might as well turn back around. <laughs> We're now on our way to a ship where we're gonna try and get a drink. Let's see what it looks like. So we made it on the boat. We think um, it's pronounced the Killar. I don't know how to say it, but Killar? we'll put it somewhere down here, the name of this yeah. place if you're in Dublin. There's a restaurant and bar. I know it seems like we're doing a lot of drinking on this trip, but guys, we have a lot of outdoor activities, healthy hiking and sightseeing. And a lot of walking around. Seven wonders of the world seeing stuff could happen really soon. But yeah, if you're here, come check it out because it's right on the water here. We're legit on a boat and the views are great. It's yes. wonderful. The River Liffey. So we're at the church bar right now. It's an old church that's been converted into a restaurant and bar. And we just had a couple beers and we decided to try some cocktails that are listed as popular on the menu. Bartenders are so friendly here. They have been talking our ear off, giving us the lowdown and stuff on living in Ireland and what it's like to be in town and if we wanted to move here possibly. She was talking and, a lot. The guy even said, yeah. I gotta get back to work. 
he liked talking, okay? He liked it a lot. And there, that's one thing that's known about the Irish is they're super friendly people. Anyone that's come here will tell you that the Irish are friendly and they'll love to talk to you. So, And they recommended this drink. It's like a peach schnapps kind of drink. It's delicious and we're just having a good time. We had the peachy blinder. Like Peaky Blinder, but Peachy Blinder. Peachy Blinder, come check it out at the church bar and grill. Yeah. Check them out. Beautiful. And everything's spooky season right now. They just put up the decorations today, they told us. <laughs> we flew back in from Scotland yesterday morning, and well, it took the better half of the afternoon. So we went to the oldest pub in Dublin, the Brazen Head, and then we checked out the Guinness Storehouse. Imagine the chickens right here. They'd be scratching, looking for something to eat. Let's go like this. The stairway to heaven. And after the Guinness Storehouse, we went over to see a show. Admiral and the Sniffers from Australia happened to be playing here in Dublin on that same night. So we bought tickets just at the airport actually on our way <laughs> to Dublin. And that was really cool. We're gonna show a little footage here. Hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. This is Bun Ratty Castle. We're actually just here for a restroom break stop. So the main part of our trips is the Cliffs of Moher. So we gotta get back on the bus. Thank you. Yes, couldn't I couldn't resist. resist. <laughs> And it's generally around this time of year they've roped it off. It's blocked off. There is a gap, right? Just on your left hand side, burn is um, not the whole area, but a lot of it. There's
Game of Thrones fans here at the Dark Hedges in Ireland. Filmed a few different episodes. And can you imagine a better place to have a little cafecito in the morning on a crisp morning <laughs> like right now? And King's Crossing. Today we're going to be up in Northern Ireland. We're doing the Giants Causeway tour with Paddy Wagon. We have another great tour guide, Richard, and we're learning so much about Northern Ireland and its history because there's a lot to learn. And that's one thing that you don't really get when you have a rental car is the history lesson. So that's fun doing the guided bus tour. And yeah, it's going to be a really, really exciting, beautiful day up here in the north now. And the Northern Ireland is actually part of the United Kingdom. It's not in the European Union anymore, so we're going from euros back to pounds, back to euros, back to pounds. <laughs> I just had to pay with some euros, and she's like, no, I don't think that, but... <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, oh. I, I knew they didn't, but I got the bills confused, the notes, like they call them in. Well, our first pit stop this morning was still euro, and I asked Leia, I was like, is this euro or pound? She said, oh, it's still euro here. I'm like, I don't know where I am. Well, I need the answer to answer that. I just got the bills confused. <laughs> Causeway now and this means a lot to me being here with Ricardo because I was here five years ago and I was at like a pivotal point in my life and I also kind of feel like I, I am in a good point in my life right now so it kind of feels good to know that I found peace when I visited here when I was in a rocky place in my life and now that I'm happy I'm here with the person that makes me so happy it just it just feels really emotional for me being here. This sounds like it was scripted or something. <laughs> Did you practice that speech? It's just like, I feel like crying. Like, I, it just feels so good to be here right now with Ricardo. Mm -hmm. I do, I'm like teary. But yeah, this place is really cool. I'm happy to be here with Kelly. And some people say that these rocks were either built or brought here by giants. Some people say it's science, but even science is kind of crazy. Like, what the hell? Really? It rocks. Some people say it's giants, some say it's science, some say it's aliens. Either way, it rocks. It's one of the most magnificent, I think it is the most magnificent thing I've ever seen in my life.